Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin for a runner 55 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. Before we start, there is two ways of pairing this watch with an iPhone. First method is to do it during the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second method is to do it uh, via the settings or through settings once the watch has been already set up. First I'm gonna show you how to do it during the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, via the settings. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first thing we need to do is to turn on the watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the light button. Once you see the logo on the screen you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. And after the watch turns on and it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you should see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by using the up and down buttons, select the language you like to use on your watch, then press the start slash stop button to confirm. And as you can see, we're being asked if you want to pair the phone or rather pair watch with a phone. Select yes because we want to do it and press the start slash stop. The watch should enter the pairing mode. It looks like um, this. Basically, you have this animation on the screen. Now, we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our iPhone. So make sure you have the internet connection and also make sure that the Bluetooth is enabled because you will need Bluetooth to pair the devices. Once you have the internet connection, open the App Store. In the App Store, tap on the search. In search tab on the search bar, type in Garmin Connect and tap search. On the list of apps, you should see the Garmin Connect application with this icon. Tap on it to select it. Tap on the get button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button right here to open it. In the application, you will get a couple of pop-ups about the permission. This is the Bluetooth permission. This one is required, so we need to tap on OK. And then you will see the uh, login page or sign in page. And you can create a new account if you don't have one or log in into an existing account if you have one. I already have an account, so I'm going to tap on sign in. But if you don't have an account, tap on create account and you can make an account there. Check the box, tap next. And now we need to enter the email address and password. So give me a couple of seconds. Okay. And once you're done entering the password and email, tap on next to continue and log in. After you log in, you will get a couple more pop-ups about the permissions. You can allow them or deny them. For example, this is the permission for the notifications. So if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. I'm just going to allow it. And here we have the permissions for the uh, health features. So basically, if you want to track uh, stats like uh, heart rate and stuff like that uh, with your watch and the app, you need to allow the uh, application to write the data for these features or read the data. And you can do it by tapping on the switch next to the feature, basically like, like that. I'm just going to tap on turn on all and then tap on allow, but you can customize it to your liking. And once the uh, once you're done with the permissions, you should see your app should detect your watch basically. If it doesn't detect your watch, make sure the watch is in the pairing mode. Uh, if it's if it is, you could try to close the app, uh, maybe turn off the watch and turn it on again and enter the pairing mode, and that probably should solve your problem. But once the app detects your watch, tap on the connected button, and now we need to enter the code from the watch. So 46, 87, and 52. Tap on pair. Again, we have permission for the notifications. You can allow it or deny it. Now let's tap on next. And here we can set up uh, sleep time or bedtime, basically. So here you can set up uh, the period of time in which you probably will sleep. So if you for example, go to bed at 10 p.m. and wake up at 6, you can set it up. And what it does, it basically will allow you to use the do not disturb mode 
sleep do not disturb mode. So the do not disturb mode will be turning on automatically when you go to bed and turn off automatically when you wake up. So you can tap on the bedtime, for example, set the hour, for example, let's set it to 10.30 p.m. So come on, 10.30, like this, then wake up, wake time rather, 6.30 a.m. And then you can tap on yes. And here you, or rather next, my bad. <laughs> And here you can tap on yes or no. Basically, if you tap on yes, it will uh, allow you to use the do not disturb mode while sleep. So you can turn it on automatically or you can keep it disabled if you want. I'm gonna tap yes, but like I said, you can keep it disabled. And here we can um, send the uh, recent training data to the watch. So if, you, if your app is or, or, or maybe if you had you, your account for a longer period of time, it's not a new account, and you have some training data saved on it, you can basically sa save, send this data to your new watch if you want to. I'm just gonna tap on no and tap on next. And here we can allow the location permission. So if you want to track some, um, um, maybe uh, like activities like cycling, running, and you want to track it with your app, you need to allow the permission for the location. You can also allow it for the weather. So if you want to track the local weather, you will also need the location permission. So if you want to use those features, allow the location by tapping on allow location access. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. Here we have the calendar access. So if you want to receive the notifications about the calendar events and stuff like that, you need to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. And now we can tap on Sync Now button and tap on Finish. And here we have the tutorial how to use the watch. You can go through it by tapping on Next or skip it by tapping on Skip. You can go through it. And once you go through the tutorial, you can tap on Finish. As you can see, now we're being asked to set the location for the weather. You can tap on Manage Weather Location. And here you can use phone location or use the fixed location, depending on your liking. If you tap on use phone location, basically it's gonna uh, get the location from your phone, from your GPS on your phone and give you weather from that location. And if you tap on use fixed location, you can basically point the point on the map from which the location should be taken and it's gonna give you weather for that location. So if you select fixed location, you can tap on fixed location right here and it's gonna open the map. You can zoom out like this, find the location, uh, for example, here, to set it, pr simply press and hold on the map, like that, and then tap on set location. And now we're gonna get the weather for this specific location. Okay, now we can go back, and at this point you should see the home page of the app, my day uh, page. Here we have uh, Basically, app, the app wants us to set up some more features like uh, Garmin Coach, Life Track, and Safety. I'm just gonna tap on that now, but if you want to do it, you can tap on Get Started, and the app will guide you through it. But I'm gonna tap Not Now, tap on Got It, and as you can see, we have the main page. We can tap on More um, Garmin Devices, and here we have our Forerunner 55. We can select it to open the device page for our watch. Okay. Also, we can um, use our watch now. It should be usable. So that's how you uh, pair the watch during the setup process of the watch. And to pair it uh, via the settings, it's quite similar, or rather not similar. Basically, we need to enter the uh, pairing mode on our watch via settings. So I'm gonna unpair the watch quickly. Remove device. Okay, now the watch is gone, as you can see. I'm gonna... Uh, go to the watch, you should be on the main page or the home screen, the watch face, press and hold the uh, menu slash up button to open the menu, scroll through the menu by using up or down buttons, find the option called phone, select it, press the start slash stop button, uh, then scroll down, find the option called per phone, press the start slash stop, and the watch should enter the pairing mode. And now you can repeat the step basically 
that we did before, but if you're already logged in into app and you want to add new device, simply tap on this plus button right here to add the device. And it should detect the watch. Uh, if you don't have that plus button because you have already device connected, you can always tap on more, tap on Garmin devices, and tap on add device right here. And it should detect your watch. You can tap on connect it, and it will go through the whole process without probably permissions because we already allowed them. But if, the, if you install the app for the first time, you will get the pop-ups about the permissions, basically. And here we have it. The watch is paired now with an iPhone. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with an iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.